Exor India is the Indian subsidiary of Exor International based out of Italy. A leader in digitization solutions for industrial automation, leveraging global innovation while tailoring support for local needs. Watch this exclusive interview with Mr. Varun Arora to know what makes Exor different from its competitors. Hello everyone, welcome to Mojo for Industry. We are at Automation Expo 2025 happening in the financial capital of India that is Mumbai. Uh, so I think this time it's a bigger, greater, kinder event as far as Automation Expo is concerned. So what sort of innovations Exor India is bringing this time? At heart of Exor's innovation lies the X platform which unifies our hardware, software, and cloud services with the name Corvina. And an X platform is basically uh, what we are promoting right now or what we are delivering right now to customers who are looking for Industry 4.0, smart manufacturing, uh, edge computing, any kind of solution related to uh, the industrial automation and cloud needs. There are quite a few players in that particular area where you are operating. So what makes Exor different from others? So first thing that sets us apart is our more than five decades of experience in industrial automation. So the hardware is time tested, industry tested, and we keep bringing new technology functionalities with all our hardwares. And now, since we are combining it with the cloud services, we are creating a complete environment or an ecosystem where uh, industry will get benefits of the seamless connectivity, uh, analytics, and uh, they, they can basically uh, find everything in a single umbrella. Right. So basically, X, so now your platform makes uh, any kind of facility smarter, intelligent. And is it retrofitable to the existing uh, factories which are not having those smart components to it? Right. Of course it can because uh, the edge gateways that we provide, they are capable of fetching data from any kind of existing system where we support more than 220 direct protocols for communicating with different type of controllers, field devices. Basically, if you have any device which has a communication option available, our devices can fetch data from them and then send it to cloud. It can be Corvina Cloud or if customer is having their own dedicated cloud platform, we can send data to that also. So where we are putting a new system, you can go with a HMI, which is with display or a gateway which is without a display mostly for retrofitting systems customers want to go with the gateways because they don't want to disturb the existing plc hmi combination but without doing that also we can just add a gateway from exhaust portfolio and make the connectivity work so msmes are the backbones of manufacturing sector and especially when you talk about the indian manufacturing ecosystem how does your solutions a platform facilitate them to be smarter, intelligent with a kind of cost factor keeping in mind? You're right because MSMEs are driving majority of growth now. Considering the Indian market, the smaller players in big quantum will make a bigger difference. So that is where MSMEs come into picture. And uh, we do have solutions for all type of needs. Uh, Cost-wise, application-wise, we have an entry-level HMI solution called as the eSmart series. So it is economical compared to uh, the other solutions that we have. eSmart will also have all the functions of JMobile, which is uh, our dedicated platform for uh, programming of uh, all the hardware devices that we have. So using eSmart also, uh, companies can achieve the complete functionality. Just to name a few, when we talk about HMIs, everybody expects, okay, it will give me visualization, buttons, lamps, data, everything. 
but in j mobile we do have facilities like sending email directly from hmi having a video player a pdf reader a pdf writer data logging different type of customized reports so each and everything is part of e smart also which is the economical solution that we have so uh, exor is having presence across the world you know and uh, so uh, for you talk about indian market where do you position this particular market because this is a kind of growing market or we can say the fastest growing market uh, yes. having huge potential today after the focus on make in india so where do you see indian market today okay see in india uh, specifically if we talk about uh, exor's presence we started pretty late and uh, with the year on year growth of around 30% for last 5 6 years i'm sure we are making uh, the right inroads into the industry and with the product reliability and performance that we provide uh i can assure that customers are really happy and also when we reach a new customer and uh, start to talk about all the functionalities that we have we do get a feedback that you are running ahead of time we don't need so many things in hmi or a gateway right now india currently out of uh, all the branches we have under exor international maybe we are uh, second last but i'm sure it will not take uh, uh, many decades maybe next 3 4 years 5 years we will be running in the forefront Oh, that's huge statement coming from you, sir. So now, uh, talking about the end user. So, who all are your target uh, industries uh, and end users, especially? I believe it is a uh, advantage for us that we are not dependent on any single industry for majority of our business. So, none of the industry segment contributes more than twenty percent in our overall business. Means we are diversified. We are not. dependent on any one segment like uh, if you see currently we are serving to pharma packaging food processing defense automotive so lot of industry segments that we are catering to right okay so percentage wise as you said that it's maybe 20% or so it for each and every uh, segment uh, see the years to come do you see that this all these industries what you have mentioned mentioned right now are going to drive the Uh, growth in Indian market specifically because there are lots of uh, activities happening in other sectors also like the semiconductors there are EV uh, there is uh, aerospace defense have opened up so when you see that things will open up and of course new industries like you rightly mentioned EV semiconductor defense they are going to drive the future growth so for defense we are already working and uh, for the EV market we are are uh, trying now and hopefully we'll get a entry soon there with some uh, substantial project as far as semiconductors are concerned uh, we have not uh, it got any major uh, breakthrough there but with the right products and uh, solutions coming in x platform i'm sure in the coming years we'll have all these industries as part of our portfolio uh, today at this particular exhibitions uh, you are meeting many clients again of course you are thing and uh, there are three more days to go wait so uh, what what's your expectations so okay expectations are uh, this time bigger than the previous years because yes uh, this expo has become bigger this time so we are expecting much bigger crowd to come and uh, we hope to find new customers here uh like we did in the previous uh, editions of this particular show right uh, do you have any message for your customers potential customers anyone so for the existing ones we are thankful to you for all the business that you give to us do visit us and uh, see what new we have on offer do visit us at automation expo 2025 we are at uh, booth b2 hall 6 thank you Thank you so much sir great talking to you and wish you grow